Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today because I'm gonna be talking about, you know, when you are actually close to finishing your game and how much more do you actually have to finish your game. So a lot of times what happens to me is that I think that I'm, you know, 99% done and in reality, I'm not even close to getting, getting done. And some of the things that, you know, that come to mind from, from previous experiences, from releasing game is that when you get to 99%, of your game, well, that's actually what you're thinking that you are, you still have a lot to do. So there's a lot of things that you need to think about that you might not know by, you know, by not releasing games before. So I'm gonna be providing you with some of these tips just to make sure, you know, to make you realize that there's actually more to be done. So the first one in, and one of the most important ones that you need to realize is that you finish your game, but you still need to upload your game to the App Store, to, you know, to Google Play, to Steam, to, to a store that actually can, you know, provide you with a marketplace for people to download your game. So if you're getting close to 99%, just remember that you need to be, you know, uploading your game to the App Store or any, of, any other marketplace. So not only that, you still need to, you know, need to create screenshots, you need to create meta descriptions, you might need to also translate your game to multiple languages, which means that you might not need your game specifically to be translated, but you might need to get some of the meta information translated. So that is actually more time that you're gonna have to add to your game release. So the other thing that you might need to do, you also need to test your game. So that's actually number two. We need to be able to test our games. You need to actually be distributing that game. So you might know that, you know, you by playing your game, on you know on the computer you you may have you know some some of the platform specific coding there but it's not until you actually get it out there and get it to a device that you actually can you know pass that test so a lot of times what happened with me is that i thought it was done the game was playable i got it you know installed on the simulator and even installed on my devices directly by doing an ad hoc and then i realized that the game didn't actually work because it wasn't in that environment where you know you actually upload it to a store and then you download it from the store. So if you're doing you know if you're doing Google Play or if you're doing iOS or if you're doing any other platform, most in, most times they offer uh, a testing platform. For example, on iOS, I use TestFly a lot. So what I would do is I would get a game. You know, in the in the past it was you know I would get a game uploaded and then get it approved, and then I, was te I would test it right after it was approved in the App Store. But nowadays what I do is I actually get it out there, and through TestFly I can actually you know, push it to certain people, have alpha testers that are basically playing my game. So make sure that you do that because you're gonna be finding a lot of, a lot of things that you didn't consider. You're gonna find bugs in that process, and I guarantee that you're gonna find a lot of things that will make you realize that you actually have to push back and you know make sure that your game is solid before you get it in the hand of many people the the other thing that i that i find myself also doing when i'm 99 percent there and which is i think you know which is number three of the tips that i'm providing you with is that you know i need to do polishing and polishing can you know it can be tedious it can be you know that you spend you know a few more months polishing the game it can be that you can actually spend about a year polishing your game so you gotta make sure that you draw the line to as much you know as much polishing as you want to do and that could be you know polishing that you do by refactoring your code by by doing better patterns to your code by you know polishing the menus and, and the on the art artistic side so there's a lot of things that you're going to be considering when you're you know before you actually release your game make sure that you're you know you're taking a lot of those things into account before you say okay i'm 90 99 percent done because every single game that I have actually released and, and that I actually work on, I, I think that I'm about to be done. And, and even in social media, sometimes I say, oh, hey guys, I'm about to be done. I'm gonna be releasing a game. And then people ask me, so why didn't you release the game when you, you know, when you said you were gonna be releasing the game? And the reality of the game is that, you know, when you go through that process and when you learn about that process, is that you really know how to estimate. So there are there are many sayings that you know coders and and you know people that are technical in general they don't know how to estimate. And I was one of those people. I I didn't really know how to estimate. And and a lot of us, you know, when we're starting, even if you're not a coder, you're you're not gonna know how to estimate because you never done that. So that's what I tell people to do. Okay, work on a small game, go through the entire you know pipeline 
of you know starting a game from an idea pushing that game to to the actual marketplace because by going through that process is that you're gonna really know how to estimate and, and lastly and, and number four i wanted to talk about one that people don't really think about when they're working on games and they're releasing on games so anytime you release a game you're gonna have a lot of issues or possibly you won't have a lot of issues but you may want to push some changes so updates so make sure that you're considering those things as well say that you get your game out there you got you got everything done it's ready for people to download but you might want to you know sneak out another feature another another update or or maybe a hot fix that you haven't actually applied that you need to apply because people might have issues with your game so make sure that you're considering that as well when you're releasing your game not only you want to have it in the marketplace but you want to make sure that you have a game that is solid that basically gives you a good reputation that you know makes people have a fun experience and not a game that is buggy that doesn't really work so that's really the four tips that i wanted to give you in this video if you guys have any questions about anything that i mentioned let me know through the comments don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video thank you guys